Hi, I'm Jack Shirley and welcome to another seed sowing video. In today's video I'm going to be showing you how you can sow and grow your own peppers and chilies at home. These plants are actually fairly easy, they do tend to have a bit of a bad name for being quite difficult, but if you start them early enough in the season, like now, so the end of January, early February, you'll ensure that your plants have enough time to really mature and to ensure that the fruit has enough time to ripen in what can be pretty drab and abysmal summers here in the UK. They do need that warmth and they do need that light in order to make sure you get the best out of your crop. There are two ways in which you can start your chilli and pepper seeds. The first is to use soil in a seed tray or in a pot and sow the seeds directly into the compost. The other way, which I'll cover in a separate video, is by using damp tissue paper. So I'm going to show you how to get them started in this particular video using soil in a seed tray. So let's get started. So first things first when it comes to sowing your chilli and pepper seeds is to choose a good free draining seed compost. So what I have here is a John Innes seed mix. Um, so it's, it's quite sandy, it's quite coarse. This is a little bit damp from where it's been outside in the garden, um, but it's perfect for actually planting in because it means it's got a good amount of moisture in there already and they're not going to dry out too quickly as soon as you've sown them. I'm using half seed trays, which look like this. So they're half size, they're a bit more manageable, I find. And what you want to do to start with is fill those trays, leaving about a centimetre or two at the top of the seed tray for you to actually sow the seeds and then lightly cover again with some soil in a moment. You want to lightly tamp down the soil that's in there <clears throat> and make sure it's nice and even so that none of the seedlings are going to get lost or washed away when you're doing any watering just like that and that's the first step so leaving that little gap at the top and making sure that the rest of your seed tray is nicely full level and tap down so i'm going to start by sowing some chilies the variety i've got is the uh, quite common variety of the jalapeno chili so Quite a spicy one too. And I've got some sweet peppers as well, which I'll sow in just a moment. Tear open the seed packet, open it up. Now, there's quite a lot of seeds in here, so I'm going to save some, just in case anything happens to these. As you can see, they're quite small. And what you want to do is just scatter them thinly over the surface of the seed tray. like so that's not too bad and then they only want to be about half a centimeter deep into that soil so not very deep at all so just a light covering on the top is good so what i'm going to use is i'm going to use a plastic pot with some drainage holes fill it up with some surplus seed compost and simply just tap over the seeds so that they get a very fine covering on there now and then once your seeds are adequately covered you want to very lightly just firm down so that the soil settles and doesn't move around too much just like that and that's also going to help to hold the seedlings in place underneath and at this stage you would then give your seed tray if your soil is quite dry or it's been sold from in a greenhouse so it hasn't been outside in the wet like this batch you'd want to give this a water at this point. Don't water them too heavily, use a very fine rose or use a mister. That's what I would recommend. So I'll probably give these a water in a few days. Once they've been in the heated propagator, they'll dry out fairly quickly. Uh, make sure it's got a lid or use a plastic, see-through plastic bag, something like that. That will trap the moisture in. Give them a water if they dry out. If they tend to stay quite moist because you've got them in quite a humid area, such as the airing cupboard, then absolutely fine, leave them as they are. The next thing that you would need to do is just write out your label. And what I like to do is I actually like to date them as well. So, so I'm using a heater propagator. The temperature is consistent in there, it's about 21 degrees. Now when it comes to planting sweet peppers, it's exactly the same process. Water if needed, if your compost is dry. Place somewhere that's got a consistent temperature, about 21 degrees, so again, these are going into my heated propagator. As soon as they germinate, move them into a well-lit position if they're not already, and your seeds should germinate in about seven to 14 days, perhaps a bit longer depending on the variety you have. 
Super quick, super simple, and you'll get plants that have enough time to mature and produce adequate amount of fruit right the way through the summer. And that's it for sowing chilies and peppers. As you can see, it's fairly simple and easy. They do need that warmth um, and they don't initially need that light. So you can actually put them into an airing cupboard or on a windowsill that perhaps doesn't get enough light but has a radiator underneath to give them that warmth in order for them to germinate successfully. I'm going to be using a heated propagator but it's going to be in the garage so there's no natural light in there. And until the seedlings emerge, that's absolutely fine but you want to make sure that as soon as they do germinate uh, that you get them into that light as quickly as possible otherwise you'll end up with leggy and horrible looking pepper and chilli plants. That's it for this video, I will see you next time when I'll be showing you how to sow a different type of seed.